This hunt took place on the last day of the late muzzleloader season in New York. We had, just, we had just climbed up this hill, about a 15 minute walk, 20 minute walk from the truck, just on the inside of this corner between two fields, when we had five, six does come through. We had just been sitting there maybe 10 or 15 minutes and the rest is history. Um, the past fall, it was a little bit warm, weather was bad, I'm in school, so I'm trying to juggle school and hunting and work. And, uh, you know, we, we took what we could get. The freezer was a little bit low, and I'm happy regardless of it having antlers or a big flathead. <coughs> Here records the date. <laughs> You're recording. It's uh, December 19th. It's about 2 o'clock. We just climbed to the top of the hill where I shot the buck last year during a muzzleloader. On the second ridge down, looking down into the woods. We've got fields on both sides. The wind's blowing. It's pretty much anyone's ball game, and uh, I haven't seen an antler buck since bow season, so I never know. Buck's on her side tonight, maybe we'll get one. Got it. Yeah. Oh. Ten yards away. <laughs> Ten yards. <laughs> Dude, I'm so <laughs> this is like we ate some back straps that night and had a good time and uh, look forward to next season and here it is. We're getting ready. Only got about a month left till the season starts and we're gonna be coming out hot and on fire, so